Today we're going to talk about how to become a productive POC programmer. So stay tuned. So here I am, I'm getting home. Just pulling up to the, to the driveway, grabbing my day pack. <clears throat> Inside there I keep a notepad with thoughts and programming ideas and things that I want to work on um, in there. Just random thoughts that throughout the day I'll pull out and I'll make my notes and that helps me later on in the day um, be clear about what it is that I want to work on that night. So arriving at the front door, what I'm trying to do is share with you my day-to-day -day routine and this is how it starts. Not every day obviously, um, but it's pretty common. I'll, I'll come home and I don't normally walk through the front door. so. <laughs> My key's acting up on the side door a little bit, so I need to get that fixed. And you see my ladder and some other tools laying out because I was doing some housework. We're re renovating this house. And uh, so that's what's going on here. Now I gotta come over here, and that stool right there, my son made, made me, um, and I love it. It's great, it's perfect for my little day pack that I, I put down there. And I come in, and I'm ready to be greeted by my, my little buddy, Duke or Duke. So it looks like he was just waking up or, you know, I'm not sure. He's kind of a sickly dog. He gets, has seizures. And so, but when he's bouncing around like this, so he's either came out of the seizure, probably was asleep. I'm hoping that that's what was going on. Anyhow, I got to take him out, tie him out for a little bit so he can relieve himself and uh, get a little bit of fresh air before this evening where I can spend a little more time with him. Um, so. Got him outside, I'm all ready. Nobody's home yet, and I'm going into the home office um, to start my my PLC programming, right? So I got my tea, gotta have my tea. Um, so as I come home, cold tea, big glass, what I always love. When, I, when there's no cold tea at night, man, when I come home, it's, it's rough. So I don't know what your routine is like, but this is my routine. I'll come home, I'll sit down at the home desk in the home office and I'll open up my RS Logix 5000. Now I already know what I'm gonna work on. I already know what I'm gonna do. It's very important that you're very clear so you can use this next hour or two uh, productively. It's very important. So I'm already working on a program and I'm gonna pull that up and I already know what I wanna try to get done on this program. So that's where I'm at. Hello, it's Paul with Logix Magazine and I want to talk to you today a little, about, a little bit about my struggle with productivity. And I want to share this with you because I know likely you're facing some of the exact same challenges. We all do. I don't care if you're a senior controls engineer. You have, we all struggle with being productive, with battling procrastination. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And really productivity and being productive um, and overcoming procrastination, in my opinion, really comes down to a three-point triangle, right? So at the top of it is perspective. You know, a lot of that has to do, why are we doing it? Are we in the right mindset? Do we have the right uh, frame of mind to be able to be clear about why we're doing it? And I wanted to help you with that, you know? And we all have to find those things that motivate us. And especially, when it gets hard. Being new, a new PLC programmer or somebody who wants to be a new PLC programmer, you might want to look online. So I did that. I went to a zip recruiter and I typed in PLC programmer, PLC programmer for a job. And I got a, a result of 45,798 jobs. That's an enormous amount of opportunity. I mean, that is uh, astounding, the amount of opportunity that's, that that is. Out of 45,798 jobs, there's gotta be one of them that will hire me. These are jobs between $60,000 and $100,000 a year. Now you say, uh, you know, I, I know, you're new, right? Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna hire you, right? That's if you don't do step two, if you do, Step two of our pyramid, I guarantee you, you will get a sixty to hundred thousand dollar a year job, without a doubt. And the st second step really is practice, right? So 
That's, that's really what our intro video was about. You need to make that walk, whatever your walk is. For me, is as soon as I get home, I will, I will come in, I'll take the dog out, I'll get my tea, um, I will go into the office and I'll sit down and I'll open up my program. Here's what you need to keep in mind. You need to do that 212 times, 212. 212 times, wanna know why? Because at 212 repetitions, you're going to be good. Now, I don't mean come in there, open it up, and that's all you do. I mean you need to write 212 programs from top to bottom, right? The entire program so that you become competent and confident. It's really important. It's not good enough to come in and, and just dabble with it. If you really want to get one of these jobs, sixty dollars to $100,000 a year job, you want to be a contender for one of these almost 46,000 jobs then you have to put in the practice. I don't know any other way to put it. And you need to put it in 212 times. But water boils at 212, okay? To be honest with you, 212 is an arbitrary number. But if you do it 212 times and you really make a sincere effort 212 times, I guarantee you, you will land one of these jobs. You have to do this part two of this, of this productivity triangle, right? Um, it's, it's important. The third point on this triangle with me is, is, and I'm sure with you, is you gotta persevere. You gotta have perseverance. You gotta be tough. You gotta push through it. You gotta deal with them banging on the doors. You gotta deal with the noise outside. The, the kids were out squealing just a little bit ago, playing in the pool. You gotta do these things and overcome them and push, push past those. The spouse wants you to do things. You gotta, you gotta find that balance. Yeah, okay, and if you do not find, find that balance, you do not persevere past and through that without destroying or alienating your family around you, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be successful. These other outside forces will pull you away from your laptop, your computer, and, and prevent you from reaching 212. It's just the reality of life. You, you have to be able to find that balance. Give the spouse the, the time that they need and ask for the same in return. Spend time with the kids or the grandkids, right? You gotta do it. And then you have your household chores that you have to contribute to. If you put in a good hour every day, you plan and think about it in the morning, throughout the day. If all you have is some time at night, Give yourself a good hour, plan that hour out well, and then attack that uh, your project and start working on it, building it. So you can, you can take that and add that to your portfolio. You're gonna be successful. You're gonna find how to balance those forces. And I'll tell you this much, in this career, as a PLC programmer, you're gonna need that skill set because balancing the demands between your, your employer the client, your family, you know, the customer, your family, and yourself takes a lot of, a lot of maturity, a lot of strength to survive and endure. And you can do it. This is not something where only a select group of people can do it. You can do it, but it's gonna take work. It's gonna take effort. You're gonna have to persevere through all the challenges, all the forces trying to pull you away from doing the work. I showed you that video clip for a reason, because that's my 212, okay? You need to create that 212. I have my space here, my, my home office that I work from, and I have the same challenges you do. People knock on that door so much it drives me nuts, okay? No question about it. People are running and screaming. I got people making phone calls to me. I, I've, I've got emails I have to answer. I've got a little bit of marketing I'm trying to do, writing, and, and these videos take time. All these things take me away from writing code. But I have to find the balance, and so will you. I will tell you that the biggest thing you can do is keep these three, three points in perspective, right? So to be productive, you gotta keep motivation. You gotta keep motivated, right? You gotta find those things that help keep you motivated. You're pursuing an opportunity, great pay, 
Um, lots, 45,000, almost 46,000 opportunities. You only need one, only need one. In this type of career, you can travel the world if you want. You can lead uh, multi-million dollar projects, work with cutting edge technology, and, and, and earn a high five, six figure income. And beyond, it, it, truthfully, the other thing you're gonna be able to walk away with is the impact you're gonna have on your life and your family and your children and your grandchildren. You're gonna raise the quality of life for yourself uh, significantly and that will have generational impact. And I cannot, I, I'm gonna try and, and literally bring this up as often as I can because it is probably, for me, midlife, it is an important um, reason for all the effort that I put in, all right? And I, I'm sure uh, you wanna think that way as well, or you should trying to think that you're going to be able to level up your family and it will have a long-term impact, all right? So I hope that this short video helps you um, get some, some, some perspective on your productivity. That entry, that intro is real important. 212, my friend, 212, it's very important, all right? So until next time, this is Paul with Logix Magazine wishing you the best, all right? Stay tuned, we got lots more great stuff coming your way. So um, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, hit the bell, uh, give a thumbs up, make a comment if you have any questions, comments, challenges, anything um, that I might be able to help you with, I'd love to, love to reach out and chat with you. All right, so until next time, keep, uh, keep programming, my friends.